Attention, all true believers. Marvel Comics is on the air. From the annals of the world's greatest comic magazine come the adventures of the Fantastic Four. Today we begin a two-week epic. Our heroes will encounter the world's most incredible supervillain, Dr. Doom. Yes, believers, Doom survived the amazing shrinking ray which backfired on him those many weeks ago. And we shall meet Ant-Man as we travel to the micro-world of Dr. Doom. Stan and our fearless foursome will be with you in just half a moment. It is night in New York City. From high atop a Manhattan skyscraper, an amateur astronomer can hardly believe his eyes. Look at that, Martha. A new comet. I'll be famous. And in the same neighborhood, a daring robbery is foiled when the night sky is illuminated by a blinding streak of light. That's your dead to rights. Don't move. Hey, where'd that light come from? The cause of what we have just witnessed blazes through the sky at almost unimaginable speed. Once again, the human torch is flaming overhead. Something must be wrong at headquarters. Nobody answered my signal. I wonder what could have happened. No power on Earth could put the Fantastic Four out of action. Or... Breed! Ben! Hey, Seth! Where are you? Flaming fireballs. There's not a sign of life. Is anybody here? Yeah, Johnny, we got here. Here, here. look out here. What's that? You've been reduced in size. You look like the dolls of us that they sell. This is no time for your cheap cracks, matchstick. Grab hold of us. We're being sucked into that air shaft. Hurry, Johnny. Here you go. But you got to fill me in. Hey, look. You guys are getting bigger. What's going on? I don't know, young fella. It's some power beyond our control. And I got some more news for you. This ain't the first time it's happened to me. I shrunk down like that a couple of days ago, but I didn't tell you because you'd have called me crazy. It happened to me, too. Boy, was it embarrassing. Me, too. This is incredible. It's happened to all of us. <laughs> and what's that laughter? I heard it when I shrank before. You fools. You are helpless, putty in my hands. And this is but the beginning for you. Who said that? It's impossible. There's no one else here. Reed, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Reed, so little chum. We could be in for a big one this time. We'd better start by comparing notes. Johnny, what were you doing just before you shrank? Well, I was working on that new rod of mine down in the garage. Boy, when I'm not flying around on our adventures, I sure get off messing around with cars. Hey, what, what's happening? <laughs> this isn't possible. Well, I'll just do what I always do when I'm in trouble. Flame on! That was it. You're lucky your flame didn't ignite the flammables down there. You think that's something? The time I got shrunk down was even worse. I was messing around in the gym playing with this three-ton weight when all of a sudden... Ah! I was my size. I was so embarrassed I hid in a hamster cage. When I grew back to normal size, I just figured that I imagined it all. My experience was similar, Ben. Tell us about it, Sue. Well, I was guest starring on Molly Margaret McSnide's interview show. Tell us, Miss Storm. Who is your favorite member of the Fantastic Four? Gosh, Molly. Looks like trying to name his favorite son or daughter. Holy smoke. She's, she's turning invisible. <laughs> Goodness, that's rude. It was an uncanny, terrifying experience. I was nearly trampled by those people. I was nearly killed when it happened to me as well. I was on my way. Hey, sounds like we're playing. Can you top this? I guess you're right. But there are several similarities in each incident. Yeah, every time the shrinking takes place instantly. We all nearly get killed each time. And that laugh. We're going to need some help to solve this one. Some special help. There's one person who might be able to figure out an explanation for all of this. The Ant-Man. Ant-Man? Ant-Man, schmad man Since when do we need help? How could we contact him? How do we even know he exists? Even if he does exist, who says we need him? Hold on. There's more to this than meets the eye. Unseen by the Fantastic Four, a tiny flying ant picks up the mention of Ant-Man's name and begins relaying the urgent message across town. And with a speed that would embarrass Ma Bell, the information reaches a hidden laboratory crowded with sophisticated cybernetic equipment. It's from the Fantastic Four. They need my help. I've got to become ant-sized and head over there. The handsome man's figure instantly takes on the size of a tiny black ant 
and Ant-Man enters his high-powered miniature rocket for his ride across town. Hey, Ben, call information for Ant-Man's number. Maybe they'll give it to you. What? Is your brain burned out? Nobody would be in the phone book with a name like that. No need to call me. I'm right here. What's that? Hey, the Ant-Man's right here. Are you kidding? I ain't kidding, that stuff. The little guy's standing there, right on top of the phone. Can't you see me? I'm right here. I'm very audible on the radio. But how? We can't understand you, Ant-Man. I'll put this electronic audio-visual magnifying amplifier over you. Even elevator shoes couldn't help this guy. Now, suppose you tell me about your problem. Something to do with shrinking, I presume. That's right. For the past couple of days, and after Ant-Man has been briefed, that's the story, Ant-Man. Some power that we don't understand is able to make us shrink and grow at will. We need a method to find out whoever is responsible and stop them. I see. Well, I have a temporary solution for you contained in these two vials. When exposed to the air, the liquid turns to gas. One is for reducing and the other for growing. Use one drop at a time. It's very powerful. We'll be able to regain our normal sizes quickly should we happen to shrink again? Yes. I'll return to my lab and see what else I can discover about your situation. Guard the liquid carefully, as it may soon save your lives. If you need me again, just speak my name. Ant-Man. I wonder if all this trouble could have been started by him. Oh, no, Johnny. He's too cute. If he were normal size... Ah, Sue was bad enough when you were mooning over Submariner. But this guy... A few days later, at the apartment of Ben Grimm's blind girlfriend, Alicia... Be careful now, Ben, dear. Don't hurt yourself. It's okay, honey. Just tell me where you want this piano. Well, I think it should Hi, be... Hi, Alicia. Ben, I've been looking for you. i got something here that I think you're really going to like. Can it wait, Stretcho? i got this grand piano here. Don't think you'll want to wait, Ben. I've been working on this serum for months. This will be the first phase of it. It'll turn you back into Ben Grimm. Okay, but I'm sick and tired of your experiments. You're wasting my time. Yeah, this tastes like horse pit. Never mind the taste. Now it's starting to burn. You poisoning me. That means it's working. But don't get your hopes up, old friend. It won't last. But I'm on the right track. Well, you're right about one thing. It's working. I can feel my point of view changing. The two personalities are so... Oh, Ben, dear. Are you all right? Your voice is so... I'm okay. Your face, it feels so different. I love you. I don't want anything to change. Nothing's going to change for us, honey. You can count on that. And listen, Reed, I appreciate what you're doing for me with all these experiments, but Alicia loves me as... as the thing, so... Why don't you forget about when you try to change me back to my former self and spend your time finding some way for Alicia to see again? Maybe you're right, Ben. I just feel responsible for... Flee for your lives. Beware of Dr. Doom. What was that? A girl's voice. So strange sounding and so far away. And as the web of fate begins to tighten around our colorful characters, let's look in at the famous Baxter Building in Midtown Manhattan, where the Fantastic Four headquarters appear to be empty, but... The only ones that can find me when I'm invisible are dogs, due to their sense of smell. This new spray we developed is supposed to protect me from that. Let's see how it works. Oh, for goodness sake, you're so cute. Please, your life. The world of Dr. Doom. That voice. Where did it come from? We're just in time. Did you hear that voice? Sure did. You and your horse water drinks. Oh, I'm so glad you're back. Oh, oh. you startled me. Did you hear that strange voice? Kind of like that voice the other day. Yeah, but it's a woman. And warning about Dr. Doom. Look, Mastermind, we've been hearing those voices for days. Ain't it about time we did something? Ben's right. Boy, it's time for action. This is a video cassette of the last time we saw Dr. Doom. Let me show it to you. Remember, he was shrinking into nothingness, the victim of his own shrinking ray gun. You can forget that mumbo-jumbo, Dr. Doom. Oh, no. I can feel myself getting smaller. That shrinking ray really works. Of course it works. Look, those creatures he conjured up are dissolving. As he shrinks, his powers are decreasing, too. Don't just stand there. Do something to stop the diminishes from nothingness. After viewing the videotape, the Fantastic Four reconnoiter in Reed's laboratory. Here, I've portioned Ant-Man's formula into equal parts. The blue vials are for reducing, the yellow ones for growing. What are we waiting for? Here we go. Be careful, everyone. Good luck. 
The serum takes almost immediately, and the quartet begins to shrink so fast it seems as though they are being hurled into the vortex of a madly spinning whirlpool. Smaller and smaller they get, until finally the spinning slows, and the world around them begins to take shape. Oh, Reed, darling, that was some trip. There's a whole world here. Right you are, Johnny Stern. Welcome to the micro world. You were right. He is alive. What have I gotten you three into? Your arrival here is not unexpected. In fact, I've been waiting for you. Yeah. Well, now that we're here, let's get started. Ah, do you think me unprepared for you, brute? He's got a control panel for all his latest toys right there in his throne. What? His latest shrinking ray. Oh, no. Here we go again. And now, hapless hero, you still wish to go for puny powers against mine. You, you better do. We're we'll going to get, get you doomed. We'll get you doomed. Oh, yeah, hang on. Before, before, before you answer, let me tell you a little story. The story of how I became ruler of this world. When I took leave of you last in a rather abrupt fashion, I arrived in this micro world, a peaceful, primitive place. The people were so contented and blissful that it made my blood boil. I soon put a stop to it. The king and his daughter, Princess Perla, were kindly trusting, simple folk. I soon gained their confidence and thereby was able to develop and supervise construction of several new devices. All of this to only one purpose, to develop a ray that would reduce the size of living creatures and then to transmit both my voice and the perfected ray through the infinite to you. What? I have played with you as a cat plays with a mouse, but now the game is over. The mouse has lost. Guards, seize them. But Paul runs first. He's the leader. Hey, where'd he go? Looking for me, pal? There he is over there. I'm over here. And I'm here, too. With my strength reduced 20 times, I'm tougher than these zombies. Did you get the message? It's clobbering time! I can't let Reed and Thing have all the fun. Play on. I'll just do a little welding on these robot shapes. That'll keep them tied down for a while. All I've got to do is power across from this control box. Ah, after your own trick, Amos Storm, I'll just cover you with this glass jar. And have myself a hostage. Oh, I have the girl, hopeless one, the once invisible girl. Now try to save her. We're gonna do just that, Dr. Gloom. Really? It will prove quite difficult for you to save anyone when I put you to sleep. Just a whiff of my sleep-inducing mystery, Richards. <laughs> you may be a great scientist, but I am Dr. Doom. I am far greater. <laughs> Long minutes later, the Fantastic Four regain consciousness to find themselves imprisoned in a dark, dank dungeon with a captive king and his daughter. Boy, that doom is devilish this time. Don't count us out yet, young fella. Uh, you uh, are uh, from the uh, same world as the uh, tyrant? Yes, Your Majesty. We've come here to capture him and bring him back to justice. And as long as Doom's twisted mind keeps thinking he can get out of Foxes, we still have a chance. First, we got to get out of here. We seem to be in some kind of underwater cell. Maybe we should call for Submariner. No, stranger. It's not water out there, but a deadly acid. What? what? It's, it's another diabolical joke from Dr. Uh, the, the Doom. But those fish out there. In reality, they are devices that he uses to spy on our every movement. Wait, Princess. Your voice sounds familiar. Oh, it should. I use Dr. Doom's transmitting device a few times to try to warn you. You see, Dr. Doom wants me to marry him. What? After seeing what he has done to our peaceful world, I despise him. And that's why he keeps Father and I prisoner. He intends to destroy all of us if I persist in refusing him. Even now, he's in contact with the warriors from Planet Tok. He has offered a token the reward for joining him. You are that reward. What? what? Yes, 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 yes. He intends for you to be slaves of the Toks. <laughs> they are ruthless warriors feared throughout our universe. What makes them so strong, Princess? They are huge and extremely powerful. Toke is a larger planet than ours with a much denser atmosphere. The gravity there is more than ten times stronger than ours. And it takes much more strength just to uh, 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 walk. Mm, the lizard men of Toke will enslave you for as long as you live. Oh, they will condemn Finn's great strength to their own enormous diamond mines, digging and borrowing until he drops. The human torch will be forced to burn the Toke's enemy fortifications till he's all burned out. Even the invisible girl will be nothing but a scullery maid to the lizard men from the planet. And I fear there is nothing you can do about it. Don't be too sure about that, Your Majesty. Yeah, Doom hasn't beaten us yet. And he never will if I ever get my mitts on him. 
Meanwhile, in the normal-sized world above, Ant-Man has returned to Fantastic Four headquarters, only to find... Bits of glass from the serum vials. They must have shrunk to almost nothingness right here. Well, I better go after them. Within seconds, Ant-Man finds himself in the micro-world, doing battle with Dr. Doom's deadly guards. Another intruder over there. Seize him. Uh-oh, it's Trevor. He is too powerful. We'll need reinforcements. Sound the alarm. Oh, more guards coming from every direction. I can't to keep them all. And then, from out of nowhere, a brutal blow is struck. There, take him to Dr. Doom. He'll know what to do with him. Here, Master. Another invader. Oh, good. The lizard men of Toku pay me well for this healthy specimen. They will arrive very soon. And in the dank dungeon that contains Doom's other captives... Reed, if you just let me bash a hole in that wall, we could get out of here and after Doom. Forget it, Ben. If that acid were to get in here, we'd all be finished. Reed, I've got an idea. The walls and cells must resist the acid. How does that help? I know what Sue's getting at. It just might work. Ben, see if you can carefully peel off. Minutes later, the Fantastic Four are almost ready to take a most desperate gamble. Well, you see, your Majesty, we will escape in this crude but serviceable capsule made from the walls of our cell. Then be sure to leave enough outer walls so we don't get any of the acid leaking in here. Ah, oh, this is kid stuff. I'll have this section welded in no time, please. That should be enough of the walls, Ben. Okay. This last chunk is for the hatch. Just in time. Even though the acid is pouring into our former cell, we're all safe inside this little acid-resistant capsule. And as the deadly liquid fills in around them, the makeshift vessel slowly raises to the surface. Johnny Storm shoots out rays of light to blind the scanner fish. But what of Dr. Doom and Ant-Man? Let us return to that confrontation. Doom, you're a madman. You cannot barter with human lives like so much beef stock. Silence. The members of Men of Fubara must be ready to take the war. What's this? Someone is undoing my bond. Someone I cannot see. Quickly, we return to the escaping Fantastic Four. Hurry, Your Highness. We have already stood in front of the enlarging ray. We know it works. <laughs> Tell me that is gentle. Johnny, after you restore the king and princess to normal size, meet us in Doom's control room. Come on, Ben. It's clobbering time! We'll be just in time. I see a ship approaching. It must be the Tokes. Stand back, fellas. That ship looks like a speedball, and I am at that practice today. I'll use this control tower for a back. And give her a few practice swings. And now, one home run. And hearing the enormous explosion outside, the Ant-Man's captives are taken by surprise when... Now's my chance. He's broken free. Stop him. That's a sight. Fools. We'll finish up our fights for all. Not with that gun, you don't. What? A disembodied voice? The invisible girl is free. I've got you now, Dr. Doom. Not so fast, young lady. I can still get away through this trap door. Then all the Fantastic Four must be free. But by the time they figure out how to find me, I'll be gone. I'll be waiting for them on the surface of our own world to give them a reception they will never forget. <laughs> Out from under the influence of Dr. Doom, the guards lose their will to fight, and the kingdom returns to normal. You have saved my people. You have driven Dr. Doom back to his own world. How can I ever uh, uh, re repay you? That's easy, Your Highness. Simply let us use the enlarging ray so we can go after Dr. Doom. Uh, of course. Wish, uh, you have, of course, Grand. Oh, you are the most fascinating man I have ever met. A flaming one. Must you go, too, if you were to remain? I couldn't leave my partners, Princess Perla. Oh. But perhaps I'll return someday. Knock off the mush, matchstick. We still got a lot of work to do. Remember? So, stepping in front of the enlarging ray, the Fantastic Four and Ant-Man bid farewell to the micro world as they continue to hunt for Dr. Doom, the most dangerous man on Earth. And that is the tale for our next adventure. 
listening again on Monday when all of us scramble into the clutches of Dr. Doom.